Okay, group, we are on number three of our 5.3 practice. Um, it says figure B was dilated by a scale factor K to create figure A. What is that scale factor? Okay, so it looks like B is our original because it says figure B was dilated to get figure A. So figure B is our original. So let's just pick out a point there. Okay, so it looks like if I pick out this point, it's at negative 6, positive 6. Okay, the new point, so I'll put B there. Okay, the new point, A, would be here, and that's at negative 10, positive 10. Okay, so we have to figure out how do we get from negative 6 to negative 10. What do we multiply by? Okay, so this is one where you can kind of guess and check in your calculator. So if I do negative 6 times 2, okay, I know that that's negative 12. That's a little bit too big. What about negative 6 times 1.5? Oh, that's negative 9. Um, okay, so halfway between 2 and 1.5 would be like 1.6. Oh, we're getting closer. Okay, great. So we're trying to figure out what gets us from negative 6 to negative 10. So if we do negative 6 times 1.5, we just determined that negative 9, so that's a little bit too short. So negative 6 times 1.6, oh, that's closer to negative 10. Okay, 1.7 is going to be over. So we know 1.666 repeating, okay, that one is a tricky fraction. It's a really tricky fraction. But if you kind of go like this in your calculator, press enter, it'll give you that. Math, enter, enter, the fraction is 5 thirds, okay? So we need to multiply 5 thirds times negative 6. There it is. It's negative 10. This is a really tough one, to be honest with you, okay? So we know that our scale factor, K, is 5 thirds, okay? Let me show you this with another one of the points. Um, so a point that's here at B is negative 3, 3. Okay, the point that maps to A on that is negative 5, 5, okay, so if I do, um, if I do negative 3 times 5 thirds, right, that gets me negative 5, so we know that it works, so our scale factor K is 5 thirds, all right, go ahead and flip that over, we're on number 3 on the back, okay, this graph looks a little bit weird, something happened here, but that's okay, we'll just use our points to help us. Okay, so it says map triangle RST onto triangle ABC by reflecting across some line followed by a dilation with another line. Okay, so if you look at our original triangle um, RST, here's our original triangle, right? It looks like the triangle flipped to the other side. Um, so we took it and we went like this to get our new big triangle. And then obviously that the dilation happened. So let's see what happens. It looks like we flip it over the Y axis, right? If we're flipping it this direction, we're flipping it over the Y axis. So, so let's try flipping it over the Y axis and see what happens. Okay, so R, if we flipped it over Y, it would be over here, right? T would be over here. S would be one, two, three, four, five away. One, two, three, four. Okay, so there would be S. Okay, then if we dilated this, um, obviously we made it bigger. So we 1.5 is not going to be our answer because we made this bigger. Let's try by 2 and see what happens. So if I'm at the point 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 5. Okay, if I multiply that by 2, I get the point 2, 10. So if I go over to 2, and up to 10, oh, there it is, look at that, R became A. So we know that we did a dilation of two and we flipped that over the Y axis. 